Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Last month, the financial struggles of some of our county councils came into sharp focus when Northamptonshire County Council declared itself effectively bankrupt. It's led to concerns about other councils showing similar signs of financial stress, including in Somerset, where there are no county council elections next month. Instead, the focus will be on finding ways to meet yet another savings target. Here's Greg Dawson. It is pure discrimination, and it's all to do with money. It's not about money, it's about making sure that people are safe going to hospital appointments and visiting their loved ones. Opponents of austerity have a nickname for Somerset, the county of picturesque poverty. Whether or not you agree with spending cuts, what is certain is that there are more difficult decisions ahead. The family of nine-year-old Max Laurie believe he could be one of the worst affected. Are you happy? Yeah, I'm happy. happy. Born with a severe form of cerebral palsy, he relies on technology and his eyes to communicate. At the moment, he's able to attend a mainstream primary school because of help from a council-funded specialist team. But that is now under threat. They're working with another team um, where they will put packages together for schools to then buy in the support. Um, they haven't stated how much money extra the school will get, but it will not be enough money to buy in the same amount of support that my son receives now. You can sort of see where he's looking. Where his eyes are looking. The council say a final decision hasn't been made and they are only proposing a change in how money is spent. But Max's parents say they've been given no guarantee he can stay in his current school. Although he is physically disabled, his brain works the same way as any other child of his age. So why shouldn't he be able to access a mainstream school? Somerset's problems can partly be explained by its ageing population, meaning the county council faces increasing social care bills. Last month, Parliament's spending watchdog warned that one in ten councils with social care obligations were at risk of going bust within three years. And some believe that Somerset County Council is showing some of the early warning signs. Its usable reserves, kind of like rainy day spending funds, have gone down by more than half in five years. The council insists it is financially stable and some of that reserve spending includes investment to reduce long-term costs. However, the pressure on budgets has left many frustrated. Living with a visual impairment means Debbie Pemberton relies on the bus for her regular trips to hospital. When a private company offering a direct route went bust, the council said it couldn't fund a replacement. It's about an hour now instead of 15, 20 minutes. And how many buses do you need to catch for that one journey to the hospital? Four. Four buses. And it used to be one? Yes. I cannot walk to that hospital, so I have to do that four bus journey. It's dreadful. Well, after talking to Debbie and hearing from Max's family, you do get a sense of the stress that these savings are causing. So let's go and have a chat with the man who's accountable for these decisions. Austerity has been tough. We've had seven or eight years now where we've had a lot of money taken off us from central government. We've lost about 120 million. Uh, that's not easy and it does begin to bite on our, our communities eventually. If Theresa May was listening to you right now, what would your message be to her? We've become more efficient, we've become much more lean over the last few years, but now we're really, really beginning to struggle to continue to deliver those services and we do need the funding model uh, looked at and adjusted so that we can continue to do that. Polly, if we're looking at broadly the financial situation for councils, we've heard about the savage cuts as they have been described by many council leaders. Is there also a case of some mismanagement in some councils as was claimed with Northamptonshire? I'm sure there is but councils are much better run than they used to be. The calibre of councils, you know, whatever, whether Labour or Conservative is much better than it was. But unfortunately this government abolished the Audit Commission which was established by Margaret Thatcher to oversee and inspect councils so we could see who 
charged most for cleaning office space, who had the best bus services. We had all that information. One of the first things that David Cameron did was sweep it away, which was a shame. But what's interesting now is it's these conservative councils, mm. not necessarily through their own fault. It's the big shire councils that are in real trouble because they do social services, they do child protection and old people, and also they have no housing because that goes at a lower level. So they don't have that financial resource of rent coming in or things they can borrow, assets they can borrow off. So the irony is that it's going to be the Tory shires that are going to go bust first. Right. I mean, there is the case being made for exactly that scenario that Polly has described. Do you think there needs to be a change in the way tiers of local government are now actually constructed? We should do away with the sort of two tiers. I think there needs to be um, an assessment made of how many councils, and it may be that the Tory shires are under more pressure because of their growing geriatric population. So I was, as was pointed out in that film, we've got a situation with the social care costs continuing to rise and life expectancy putting councils under huge pressure. There's been a very cogent argument cross party that social care costs should be removed from that budget be lumped in with NHS and not be put, the, not have the onus put on councils themselves. Because if you've got a council, say, I don't know, Torquay, it's going to have a completely different demographic, mm. graphic, say one in central young London with a much younger, more transient population. So how can the both be compared? Well, how? Well, you're quite much... right because the government is now going to abolish all funding from the centre, mm. and the funding from the centre used to do just that. It used to say, you need, you've got more children in trouble, you've got more old people. All of that is going. Sure, but, how much of, but how much effect generally have cuts to local government been? Well, I think it depends on the different council. You know, last time I was in here, you had Ferris Cowper on, who was talking about how efficient... You've got a good memory. I know. How, you can't forget a name like Ferris Cowper, though, Joe. <laughs> That's true. Um, who had, was running the... Um, which What was his borough? I can't remember. <laughs> you remember more than I do. Chelmsford, I can't remember. Was it? Some, something like Chelmsford, where he was running efficiencies. You also have the other side of this coin, and I know it's, you know, a Taxpayers' Alliance-type argument about looking where the cuts are happening. There are still 2,300 council heads being paid over 100,000 100, pounds. Um, wh why aren't some of the higher staffing salaries cut before services like, for instance, that partially sighted woman's bus? Oh, go on, you know it's peanuts. One of the problems, it's not is, peanuts, one of the problems is that councillors always... Two, two and a half always... thousand people being paid over yeah, 100 grand. Yeah, I agree, it's an offence. It's too much Briefly. money. But it's not going to solve the financial problem. Well, it's going to help, and it also well, sends a message out to the electorate that they're actually making the cuts okay, in the right place. But the real problem is that councillors, and very often Tory councillors, will only want a chief executive who's already been chief executive somewhere else. So you have a tiny pool of people. They have to bribe more and more. Yeah, to right. Ladies, ladies. Never tries to poach these high-paid Ladies, we're going to have to finish this debate. We're going to have to finish this debate. astronomically more. Come on.